Inside this bag, I have a new silicone mold that I have never used before, and I have no clue how much cement or water I need to add for my mixture. We're gonna do it together, cause I've got a formula. Let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano, and there are two ways we're going to find out how much mixture you need to add to any silicone mold you might have. The easy way and the precise way. So if you're bad at math, you might be happy with just the easy way. If you understand math and don't want to waste more product than you need to, then keep watching till the end. All right, if you're not using cementol and you're eyeballing your formula, honey, have you seen my eye? This probably won't work for you. Also, I'm going to calculate in grams for my metric unit. Now I know that I need four parts cementol, one part water, which in total is a five part mixture. Four parts cementol, one part water, together equals a five part mixture. I can see all the people who don't understand math like this. Four and one carry the two, what the? F Again, don't worry if you're not good at math, there is an easy way and we'll start with that. Okay, so here's my silicone mold. I'm going to place it on the scale and zero it out. Now I'm going to add in water until it reaches the top but doesn't overflow. At the top, I have 488 grams of water in my silicone mold. Now I'm going to round that up to the nearest tenth, which is 490 grams. I then take that number and times that by two, which gives me a number of 980 grams. That means that my four part cementol is 980 grams. Wait a minute, if you think this video is inspirational, creative, educational with a little bit of entertainment, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. It would really help me out a lot. Thanks. I now need to find my fifth part or my water portion of my mixture. Being that I need four parts cementol to one part water, I need a quarter of 980 for water, which is 245 grams. Now that I figured that out, I'm going to remove the water from the silicone mold and dry it thoroughly. Then add my mixing bowl to my scale and zero it out. I now need to add 980 grams of cementol and 245 grams of water to my mixing bowl and start mixing. I'm going to make sure I mix it really well so that there are no lumps or chunks in my mixture. Once I'm done, I'm going to add my mixture to my silicone mold until it reaches the top. Now for all the folks who just want an easy way to figure this out, you pretty much have it. You're done. You can either stay with the number that we arrived at together and either toss away your leftover mixture or buy some small silicone molds and make little cement characters and hand them out as gifts. That way you don't waste whatever's left over. And if you want to adjust your formula and not waste material or give free gifts, you can slowly add less mixture to your formula until you find your magic number. It's that simple. Okay. You can stick around with me and find out a more precise method so you don't waste any product. Let's move forward. With my scale, I can weigh the remaining contents that I have from my bowl by adding it into an empty cup. The total is 230 grams. As a recap, I know that I have four parts cementol and one part water, which is a total of five parts. Those numbers are important if we want to know how much to deduct from the leftover contents of the 230 grams. We know that from the 200 130 grams or five parts, 80% is cementol and 20% is water that's in the cup. So 80% of 230 is 184. That means that there's 184 grams of cementol in the leftover contents and 20% of the 230 grams is 46. That means that there is 46 grams of water in the leftover contents. Let's round those down to 180 and 45. Now let's take the 980 grams from our original calculation and subtract 180 grams from the leftover contents. That gives us 800 grams. Now let's take the 245 grams from our original calculation and subtract 45 grams from the leftover contents. That gives us 200 grams. So in total, this silicone mold needs 800 grams of cementol and 200 grams of water for your mixture to make an awesome cement planter or candle jar like this one here. You can take the method we just learned and figure out any silicone mold you want. And you can either do it the easy way or the precise way you choose. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're gonna help you on your concrete candle making jar journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.